fair question for sure. And, and as you alluded to, I think there are thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars that are basically uh, scared off of people's bottom line because they've talked to somebody who has a bad experience as a landlord, and that person has told them a horror story, a legitimate horror story, but our potential person who's going to leave money on the table fails to ask one or two extra follow-up questions. And those extra follow-up questions would really shed a lot of light on the process that the negative person had. Uh, and if you just ask this one or two extra questions, you'll go, aha, well, you did that the wrong way. And so my one question that I would have any would-be landlord ask, anybody who's kind of poo-pooing or pushing down on the idea of being a landlord is, they're going to tell you a horror story, and they're going to tell you a bad story about bad tenants, very, very likely. And you're going to sit there and go, yeah, that sounds pretty awful. And what I would do is respectfully listen to them, and as soon as they're quiet, I would just very politely ask, gosh, that sounds terrible. How did you find your tenants? It's that easy. And then just be quiet. And I will tell you their answer is going to be something along the lines of, they seem so nice, Craigslist, work association, and then you follow up and go, oh, did you vet them at all? Did you check their credit? Did you talk to their past rental history uh, or has past rental references? Did you do anything to look at their background? Nine times out of 10, a landlord who had a horrible experience with tenants did almost no background check on those tenants and just gave them the keys to one of the most valuable assets. So I would encourage any first time landlord or anybody who's considering maybe getting back into the game uh, to ask those couple questions as they're beginning to get an idea of whether it should be, it's a good idea for them to, to get back into landlording or to start the landlording process.